This is Tom with Pure Water Power and I'm going to be going over a little bit on our new Solar Beast window cleaning and solar panel cleaning complete kit. Now this kit includes our Solar Beast 4 stage RODI system with a 110 volt motor and uh, pump and we also include our 35 foot Mamba high mod Kevlar water fed pole with a 4 pencil jetted brush for your window cleaning needs. And then we also include our new solar uh, brush kit. This is a 24 inch brush. Um, we have equipped it with a customized aluminum rinse bar that has pre-drilled holes to allow water to shoot over the brush. And it also has two bigger jets going through the brush for a complete uh, optimal water source at the panel where you need a lot more water to clean your panels efficiently. Now, because of the bigger holes uh, through the bar and the bigger jet sizes, um, this kind of brush will not work that efficiently with a regular RODI system that doesn't have a pump. You will need to run a booster pump anytime you're using a four stage system so you can ensure that you have enough water at the source of the panel. Um, uh, so with this kit, you also get a, um, it's equipped with an aluminum adjustable gooseneck and this gooseneck assembly has a uh, Acme thread which is the same size thread that's on your extension poles. So you can use this brush with an extension pole or you can use it on a water fed pole with a Euro thread by using this adapter uh, which comes with the kit. Um, also included with this solar brush is a uh, length of 25 feet of half inch OD flexi tube equipped with a female garden hose and a adapter and a uh, shutoff valve. And uh, all you do is simply plug in the bare end of this tubing into this fitting and then run this hose exterior on your water fed pole or your extension pole and then plug it into your line coming off your purification system or spigot, whatever you choose to do. I know a lot of you guys out there clean solar panels with a brush like this out of a spigot. Um, uh, but we've designed it to work both ways for you uh, to clean and uh, rinse with a four stage RODI system. So um, I want to go over a little bit on our Solar Beast kit system itself. And um, this is a four stage system and um, basically has four stages of filtration. The way this would work is you plug in your garden hose from the spigot here. It will run through your sediment and carbon filters and then we'll run through your RO membrane. The RO membrane is what takes out 95% of the solids and then the last stage is the DI which will take the remainder down to zero so you'll have pure water for a uh, spot free clean and rinse. And then it comes out this fitting here to your water fed pole or your solar brush. So this system is equipped with a 110 volt pump assembly which is a uh, half uh, horse uh, industrial motor and then a five and a half gallon per minute industrial vein pump um, with a uh, equipped with an unloader valve assembly. This, this valve assembly here um, it works very similar to the way an unloader on a pressure washer would work where you can spin it in one direction to increase pressure reverse the spin and you're going to get decreased pressure. So it allows you to adjust the flow coming out of your water fed pole uh, so you can um, prolong the life of your DI filter like most pumps out there when they're turned on they're on full speed or when they're turned off they're off there's no in between there's no adjustment we give you the ability to adjust get the perfect flow and um, prolong your DI filter life um, this system with the pump on you can run three water fed poles or you can clean your with your solar panel brush kit because these brush kits require a lot more water, um, you know, it's needed, uh, you need a, a way to get that water to the brush and to do that, you need a 110 volt pump uh, to, uh, to clean efficiently. So, so this, this uh, system is equipped with um, our portable wheel kit. Um, it, they are sporty flat free wheels and then we have an upper wheel kit um, and what that does is it allows you to load and unload into a truck bed or a van with, uh, by using only one person to do so. So um, you would t basically take this unit, tip it to where this sits on the bed of your truck or your van, come back to the bottom, lift it up and roll it right in 
and then you know obviously do it reverse to unload so it's a real uh, benefit to have that upper wheel kit so I want to go over the control box a little bit on this thing so this is um, equipped with our 110 volt uh, control box uh, you can operate it uh, at the uh, unit itself manually or you can operate it up to 500 feet away with the remote control we've designed these so if one of your guys or yourself loses the remote um, until you can get a new one, we want to make sure that you're still functioning with this system out in the field until you get a new one, and then you can just control this at the box, at least you'll be out there. Um, so an invaluable uh, uh, switch box for you to, uh, to be equipped in this unit. Um, also equipped on this is a dual TDS meter. Uh, flipping the switch to the left will give you a reading of your raw water TDS coming in, and then all, when you flip it to the right, it will measure your outgoing TDS. Uh, so it's an invaluable device so you know what you're working with out in the field. When your outgoing TDS is, uh, starts to get below 12, it's time to start thinking about changing this DI filter because at that point, uh, you can have potential spotting. It's time to change that filter. Um, also included with this system is a 50 foot length of uh, 3 8 inch hose to go from the outlet to your water fed pole or your solar brush to give you some maneuverability. You can add more to it or just get a hose reel of some kind, um, but uh, we do not recommend using this on the inlet supply. It can restrict your flow coming into the system. So use this on the out only to your water fed pole. Um, you can also, um, purchase separately as an accessory hose reel kits that you can bolt up onto the system in several locations. Um, for a portable scenario like what you see here in front of you with the wheel kit, we recommend putting these at the bottom right here on this whole pattern um, because the system is well balanced and um, it's a little bit easier to get around the job site. You can remove the hose reel or, or the wheel kits and um, bolt this into a vehicle. So it has four bolt holes in the plate. It's made to either bolt in a vehicle or use portable. So it's a huge benefit um, for you to make changes at any point after you purchase the system. So um, these, these, these hose reels also can be mounted. Um, we have pre-drilled holes in three places on the base. So that let's say you put it in a pickup truck and bolt it in, these two locations up here will sit above the bed line and you'll have easy access to your hose reels. There's also one on the top, one on the side, and I believe one on the back. So it's got a lot of options for that. So um, uh, that is a great accessory to have for you. You can put multiple hose reels on them um, to run multiple bolts. So um, this system has enough force. It's an invaluable tool because it produces enough water to um, you know, run multiple poles or your solar panel brush. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go over the discharge assembly on this real quick also. Um, so all RODI systems have what they call a discharge hose. As water goes through the system and, and through the RO membrane, all the high TDS water needs to exit the system um, as the system's running and um, get rid of it. And uh, that's what this discharge hose is. So when when you're operating the system normally, you got the water running through it. Um, this valve, you would open it up. It's called flushing the system. All of the water that would normally uh, come out on the pole side would then come out on this side and um, it will get rid of the high TDS water. After about 30 seconds, you wanna flip this back into normal mode. The water will decrease coming out of here to about 10 or 12% of the incoming flow rate and the remainder will come out to your water fed pole. And uh, you should basically do a flush every, every time you use the system for about 30 seconds prior and then another 30 seconds when you uh, get ready to put it away. Um, and then we have a male garden hose connection on this that if you wanted to extend some garden hose or some other type of hose uh, to get it away from where you're using the system, you have the ability to do so. Um, so uh, we also include a, um, a uh, instructional with warranty information and um, talk, talks about filter life changes and so on. Um, and a couple of wrenches for your filters to replace your filters. Um, other than that, this is a, a great system for uh, taking care of all your window cleaning and solar panel needs. It produces an enormous amount of water um, where you need it the most at the solar panel, at the window, and give you the option to run multiple poles. 
Uh, you can get this system from Pure Water Power or any distributor of Pure Water Power. <laughs>